Hello guys, this is Alexandre from Renault Studio. Uh, I hope you enjoy uh, this uh, short demo of uh, the pull-off rig and uh, it will be available here on my website uh, studiosrenard.com in the learn section uh, yeah it's not already it's not there yet but uh, it will appear on top so uh, yeah if you like my content uh, please uh, do not hesitate to uh, visit my youtube channel here and subscribe and you can like and leave a comment or uh, there is my uh, also my um, instagram uh, where I post the uh, sometimes uh, like uh, videos of rig and also characters and uh, sketch and uh, things like that and uh, there's also the um, the Facebook page of uh, Renault Studio that you can uh, follow and uh, it's also almost the same content that uh, you, you will see on the uh, on Instagram or YouTube and also there is uh, the LinkedIn um, LinkedIn page here that you can uh, you can see uh, you can also follow this and uh, I post uh, things there too but it's all converged to the website so uh, and also on the website you can see the all the link are here so so there you go so uh, I'm gonna show you uh, what I did it's um it's a pull-off rig inspired by a Bano Yuki uh, impressive animation so I wanted to do uh, something similar but um, more automated uh, automate rig because I know uh, Bano uh, I heard that he used like uh, many controllers that he animate uh, uh, by hand each of them and uh, my rig is a bit uh, different there is the um, also if you want to use this rig uh, you need to download the M gear plugin you can find it on the website here you press it's totally free it's open source uh, it's a really great tool uh, you have uh, a lot of cool content in this plugin uh, you can build auto rig uh, very fast and uh, yeah it's an awesome uh, tool I encourage you guys uh, to use this and uh, I think they just released a new update uh, lately so yeah visit this and uh, download that so yeah basically it's the the, the rig with the uh, M gear you can uh, also uh, it come with an, a synapse here so if you want to select like uh, all those uh, knuckle you can select them at the same time and shift select so you can uh, like uh, do uh, all the fingers together also there is a nice uh, controller here to spread spread like this or like that you can also do rotation so you have a nice uh, arc so yeah I've used this rig and uh, for the harm so uh, yeah so as you can see the the glove is attached to the to the harm to the hand of the the character but there is nothing else than the harm so uh, what you can do I did a small animation but basically uh, what you can do is um, you can pull this and uh, if you see it true it uh, slide along the surface of the hand so it doesn't enter penetrate and I think that's an important feature for a glove and uh, there you go uh, you have this also on each finger you have this feature also um, there is a controller here that um, uh, control the wrist of the glove and there is a this one uh, control the translation so you can like uh, move it here 
and um, this one control the rotation so and also there is a, like a macro uh, controller here because um, uh, the deformation work but there is uh, some limitation to it uh, you will see what I mean by that um, because this one is gonna pull the, the glove but at a certain point there is a because there are like too many uh, uh, over not overlapping but there because the, the glove is gonna follow the, the geometry that is closest uh, it's gonna recast the um, the glove geometry to the hand so and uh, and he's gonna find the closest point so when the the, the glove is at a neutral pose uh, this part uh, is come is coming here at the closest so that's why it doesn't take this surface as the closest so uh, that's why I, I've uh, added some um, uh, you see it's work here and when it's get close to the town it it, uh, it goes there so that's why I, I've added some uh, macro so when it come out uh, so you can uh, you can animate them to bring the geometry closer here outside so now it get deformed correctly So you can see it still uh, it's follow the the hand. So how it work is uh, not got that complicated. First of all, um, we need a, a geo that uh, is in. I call it in and out. Uh, out is when it's out here and in it's when it, it's on the hand so uh, I, I've created a geo in and a geo in flat and also I've created the geo out and a geo out flat and there is a blend uh, there's a blend shape that uh, blend from this state to this state and that's what drive this controller so if you want to see um, and also uh, there is fall off because uh, uh, to get this effect here it's the um, uh, it's fall off uh, created with the mesh um, uh, deformer here uh, no sorry uh, create mesh uh, blend deformer so yeah, the you see the the controller bring the the glove inside this fall off. So this fall off is uh, uh, what it does. It bring the um, the the geo in here. You see the geo in is flat. Uh, geo in flat, yeah. Uh, glove flat in is here. So this uh, this blend uh, fall off here is uh, blending from uh, the normal state to the flat state. So it's the same for all the and what uh, brings this forward is this uh, wire controller here. So the wire controller control the the geo uh, the glove uh, geo and the glove geo flat too. So both get the same deformation, but one is flat and one one is normal. And when it get through this fall off, the the flat uh, deformation appear. So it's not very complicated. And uh, yeah. And also there is a big one here. You can see this controller is driving the the big, uh, so it it get flat uh, where the 
where the limit uh, reach the glove so you can play with that and also uh, I've put this uh, guide here so you know where uh, the glove is uh, going because if uh, if I um, if I place this uh, glove uh, let's say uh, here it's gonna this is where the glove is going so you know uh, because if you if you don't have a guide you, you won't know exactly where you want this glove is going to be when it's pulled out so that's why I put this guide to help uh, the visual visualization of this glove sorry for my English uh, it's been a while I did not talk uh, and I'm a French guy I'm not French Quebecer but I speak French so sorry for that I hope you understand if not you can uh, write me some comments and I can answer I'm better at writing than I s than speaking so anyway uh, yeah so once it's in this um, this state you can control this and constrain it somewhere so uh, yeah uh, also uh, if you want to improve this rig uh, go ahead it's free and uh, it's open source you can modify it uh, do whatever you want with it so uh, now it's rigged with only like uh, four bones and uh, you can uh, rotate it and uh, very basic stuff but if you want you can uh, rig it completely to uh, to have uh, better deformation and uh, that's it uh, yeah download that and uh, try it and uh, leave me a comment and uh, let me know uh, how you like uh, also uh, before I quit I'm gonna show you the bifrost graph so maybe you guys will uh, understand a bit uh, how it work so uh, yeah basically uh, it's really simple uh, and also I've used this uh, node that, uh, that is re just released from uh, uh, the, the latest bifrost uh, update and it's really useful what it does it it gives a uh, a tag of uh, all the point that um, uh, go uh, inside the uh, from a geometry to another so my arm is plugged uh, here in the bounding geometry and my glove uh, is here in the geometry so it output an array of uh, of uh, position of where um, the glove interpenetrate the um, the arm, so uh, really useful. So when I get this, I I say, okay, if that it's true, well, um, get the recast of the normal map, uh, get the recast of the point position from uh, the the glove, and uh, and the normal, so you can recast the. Uh, the new po it's like a closest location but by recast so uh, when it interpenetrate the glove get the closest location by recast on the arm so it's like a, it's sliding so it's it's the perfect deformation for that and when you get uh, when it, if it's true it get uh, to this new location and if it's false it, it keep the the position uh, where it was before so the the position of the globe so really basic stuff and uh, only a few nodes to get this result okay yeah in the bifrost graph it output the mesh 2 here so uh, in the node editor if I take the bifrost graph shape you can see the mesh 2 is out I output it at the, as a bifrost geo to Maya and I create a like a cube and I plug it in the in the in mesh of the shape and uh, wrap a new glove to it so that's how I get this uh, this result 
so yeah, so that's it. And uh, also, uh, you have to to know that there is a certain uh, limitation to it. You cannot go crazy with that rig. It worked, but uh, yeah, there is some limitation. You're gonna see if I play with this thumbs here, and if I go too far, it's gonna break. So you can not go too far in the deformation. Same here. Because at a certain point, he doesn't know where uh, to recast. So, yeah, you can go uh, far, but not too far. So I'm gonna share with you this scene with this animation so you can explore and uh, break it as you want and uh, enjoy it. Uh, I hope you like it and uh, thanks and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, so I can continue to, uh, to create this kind of stuff and uh, that's it. Hey, Merry Christmas to you. Ciao.